guys, it's Sonia from Junk Monkey Paint Company. Thanks for joining me for another fun live video. So tonight I have been feeling the inside urge to do some scrapbooking. So I'm calling this session a little uh, paint and pretty uh, papers kind of session, okay? So tonight's session is gonna be doing some painting but doing it on paper. And as you guys know, as you follow me, I love my scrapbooks, I love journaling, I love art journals and all the fun things that it all entails, right? So as you guys pop on tonight, please say hello, let me know who's here with me. It's Sonya from Junk Monkey. You know, this girl's always putting paint on something to bring it to life, right? And so I think that when you journal, by the way, who on here has had a journal before I love that sort of stuff that um, it's a great it's just great unwinding time so this is nice to be able to start this journal project tonight with you guys here after my day is completed here at the junk monkey I know that might sound of sound it, um, very loud bear with me I'm getting set up here this is parchment paper and I tell you guys that when you're journaling so it doesn't like disrupt any of your other pages use some parchment paper as a um, just a guide to help protect, right? So, because when you're using paint and stuff like that, you don't want all your pages to stick together. Who remembers when I we did these um, clips right here on um, our Junk Monkey Live broadcast? Oh, I love this one right here with the pink roses. This was my napkins, and I found these giant jumbo clips. And, uh, yeah, I am in love with them. And so here's a use that I will use them for as an example, right? Just to hold my pages back while I'm doing my thing. It's heavy on this side, but it's light on this side because I'm starting a new book tonight. And, uh, yeah, let me just tell you, I'm excited. I'm excited. So you guys know that on Friday when I was on here, I shared with you guys, and this is parchment paper, just like the stuff that you would get at the... Um, you know, when you're out getting your food and that sort of stuff at the store. At the store, that's what I'm trying to say. So you guys know when I was on here on, thank you for uh, sharing this and thank you, Holly, for loving the clips. Heck yeah, there's always there's always space in life for giant clips, okay? Let me just tell you. Chips, papers, you name it, right? So um, anyway, I'm gonna get into this tonight, but on Friday when I was on here, I told you guys that I have teamed up with the uh, scrapbookingstore.com. If you use Junk Monkey 10, you're able to save 10% off your order there. And I am somebody who, you guys know I love my, my papers, my furniture. I did my desk the other night in scrapbook papers. Who remembers that? And so tonight I'm gonna go ahead and start a whole new book um, using the papers that I got from the scrapbooking store in my kit this month, basically a sign up. And um, every month they send you an envelope full of all kinds of goodies. So you can go back on Friday and watch what I got this past month. It was all October themed, of course, you know. So it's like dual sided. So maybe if you don't want pumpkins, you know what? Turn it over and use music notes, okay? But the cool thing is uh, this past month their theme was vintage paper. So if you sign up now, I'm not sure what you'll get since we're already into November. Can't wait to see what I get in November. But if you guys want to sign up and scrapbook along with me, um, go for it. And use my code to save some money. Look, I love this one right here. So anyway, this is what I've been up to. And so anybody else who like scrapbooking, um, I did that a lot earlier on, especially when I had my son. I have, I'm so thankful that I have uh, taken the time to do some scrapbooks because I will tell you right now that I feel like all my photos get saved on my phone. And I always have good intentions, but I never do anything with them. And so this is like the time right now where I feel like, okay, I'm going to start this. I'm going to start putting my highlights in a book and getting the, my pictures printed, like just a few pictures and putting them on paper. And so it doesn't have to be, you know, it can be a fun process. You know, it can be a fun process, a creative process. And I've got everything I need. Today I went and I took the time. I have to tell you that I was at the Walmart kiosk. And yes, you can get your photos printed instantly over there. Um, I used an app on my phone that allowed me to connect straight from my phone, straight into the kiosk, and it was an Insta print, okay? And then I got some really cool photos. And so for my scrapbook, what I intend to do is not just have it about, you know, it's not just about me and my life, my business is kind of my life, right? I have dedicated my entire li life and livelihood to painting and therapy and as an artist. And so I want to document that sort of stuff. You know when Facebook gives you those time hop memories and you go, oh my gosh, I totally forgot that I did that. That was so cool. Or we went there or we did that or that accomplishment happened, that sort of thing. And so I want to go ahead and it's called Junk Monkey 10, Michelle. But I want to go ahead and start the process. And you guys can, you know, follow along with me, do your own books. I would love to see what you're doing as well but I went today for 29 cents a photo okay yeah yes you can get a printer and you can print your own if you want to but I thought I would begin a journal for myself starting this month where I take the photos out of my phone just 
just a few for the month. And this month I had a lot of accomplishments. We had a lot of activities. You guys know we did some traveling this month. We had our big street fair here in Ligonier this month. This weekend me and Matt celebrated our 18th wedding anniversary. We've been together for 20 years. I believe not in these photos as well. Um, I just took this weekend. We went out and we had good food. Look, here's the drinks that me and Matt had um, on Saturday night right there. Celebrating 18 years of um, lovely blisshood of marriage, right? You guys all know what I'm talking about. Life is good, but I think it's important to document. Look, my friends uh, Damon and Clara here from the Crafters Convention where we went to Illinois. This month we did our, painted our windows outside as well. And you guys know that, you know, time goes on, right? And sometimes as a creative and even just life in general, we get so busy, we don't take the time to, to smile and to appreciate what we've done. And so I want to start journaling. You just downloaded the app, Lori. Yes. I just want to start journaling my travels, you know, the good food I've had and some projects I've done this month so far. I started sharing with you guys some paintings that I've been doing and uh, one went to Kentucky and another one went to New Hampshire. All those sorts of things that you do, right? And just, just the general projects that you do. I did this one this week. Who saw that one in my coaching group? We did this one. Um, I think that was over my blog on YouTube. So anyway, I'm going to start tonight and just show you what I intend to do. And I am going to keep this up. And I challenge you guys as well. Listen, on this trip was the first time in my life I've ever had Frosties. I'm sorry, I ever had uh, french fries dipped in Frosties, okay? Like there was a lot of good, a lot of good stuff this month. So anyway, I'm just gonna pick out a few uh, pictures and lay down a background, use my paint to bring it to life. I'm a shabby style painter, distressed. I love, love, love anything that looks old and time-worn. It just makes me happy. So you can do whatever you like and, uh, you know, go from there. So I'm just going to start, honestly, remember how I did my table where I did the, um, I did all the layers. Like I like layered backgrounds. Anybody else? Anybody else just drawn to layered backgrounds? So I'm going to dip into my Mod Podge here and I am going to start just laying down a background, you know, and doing that. So what's everybody up to tonight? I've got my right hand girl Kate in here in the shop with me tonight. We're working late getting all your orders out and uh, yeah so she's here as well manning the chat so she can holler out any questions you guys have and I'm just gonna go ahead and get started and I'm, I'm choosing this like polka dots right? I love the polka dots. Yes you love the layers too. Oh my gosh. We couldn't be friends if you didn't like layers you know what I'm saying? know what I'm saying? So we were talking as um, I was getting ready to come live and Kate actually, I know you, you do this because last year I found out about it. Every year for Christmas, you guys, you know, Kate and Adam, um, Kate is my, like my shop manager here. She keeps everything going behind the scenes for me, like tonight right now with the live chat. But every, every Christmas you and Adam do something, right? Yeah. What do you guys do? Um, what Tell we us. do every year is yes. make a scrapbook of our relationship. Scrapbook of your relationship with each other. How yes. cool is that? Guys, I just realized I should plug in my phone. Give me one second here. So you don't go dead. So it's like Things every other year it switches between Bumps in the night. Remember last year we painted the piano? Like, can you believe yes. it's almost a year ago? I know. Did that make the scrapbook? It did. Yes. <laughs> So good, so good. But yeah, like I, um, I am just, I love, I'm a visual person. I love pretty things. I love it when I do a scrapbook and it feels really, I don't know. It feels like it's just filled with memories. It feels thick and interesting and it has textures and layers. And I mean, honestly, in this book, I'll start even putting things like, um, you know, like things in terms of, you know, if you have like ticket stubs, and things like that, right, that you want to keep on your travels. All right, Mr. Clip, i got to move you a little bit. So I'm just putting on my Mod Podge. But I think that how many, anybody else out there just makes you cry sometimes when you think about all the photos that you've taken, but you haven't done anything with them. I mean, we are in the moment of an event and we're taking photos, but yet, you know, and missing out from watching with our own two eyes because we're taking photos and then you never do anything with the photos and you're all into your phone and the next thing you know, you have to do a phone upgrade or... You know, something crashes and you lose your photos. Ugh. So at the end of the day, yes, I want to keep my photos electronically, but I also want to, um, I want to document them. I want to have a physical thing that I can hold. 
and in this day and age, you know, I have a, I just remembered too, I, I did a TV show one time. Those of you who know me more locally know that I host a TV show and it's on, um, it's on Armstrong Cable and it's called Meet the Maker. And I go around and I interview people, local people who are just doing amazing things. And I interviewed a photographer one time and went over to her house and got to see her develop photos and all that sort of stuff. And we talked about photography and she talked about how it truly is, like I did not even realize until I walked away from that interview, that it's actually, if you talk to photographers, that photography, like the idea of printing your photos, a lot of history is being lost because it's, photos are not being printed anymore. They're being on phones, stored electronically, and then they're getting lost. And that's it, right? Then it's uh, then it's it's gone. It's lost forever. And so it really is. They were saying about how it's a tragedy. She was telling me what some of the big organizations, you know, the archival type of organizations where things are getting lost as part of our history. I'm so glad I did the scrapbooking when my son was younger. And I do still have, have that. Um, and it's amazing the stuff that I have in those books. I'm sure he would be totally embarrassed right now if he knew all the pictures of him in underwear. I would love to see that. You would love to see that? Well, I mean, that that's not you want to see my son in underwear, Kate? Is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> I was Adam, just before. I was just waiting for you to finish your sentence, and I didn't know you were going to say that. Oh, uh, too funny. Yeah, Kate's in the uh, same circle of friends as my son, so she can say that and be funny. Totally say that and be funny. All right, let me think about this. So let's see what we want to put on the other side. Oh, I like this cream, and I like this black. So I did a little bit more halloween over here. This already has a cream background. But maybe I'll do some black and white over here on this side for fun. You know what I'm saying? And I love my Mod Podge because, yes, it's a glue and a sealer. Sealer. All in one. You know what I'm saying? Thanks for sharing, uh, Janice. Yes, we'll do some banana bucks tonight. And for anybody who don't know what banana bucks is, that's where I share paint with my friends. I sent out a whole bunch of codes tonight before I came on live. I was catching up today on um, some stuff that I had to do behind the scenes. And uh, so, yeah, so if you have been a recent um, Banana Bunch code winner in the last few videos, you're going to have to check that out. Check your email. So, yeah. the app on your phone that you mentioned for the photos, is yes. it just the Walmart app? Or? It is. They have a thing. Now, my phone is up right now on my, my tripod here, so I can't, like, pull it up real quick because we're going live. But it was called like Fiji, I think it is, like Fiji app. So what happens is you, um, you, I seriously sat in front of it and you, it gives you a code on the screen and the app pulls your photos up and then you just go ahead and send it out. I think it was Fiji, Fiji Walmart app. If you search for that, I bet you you'd find it. Cher from North Carolina, you're so awesome. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Rochelle, too. Catherine. Girl, I am, you know what I'm doing. I am doing some paint and crafting therapy tonight. That's what I'm up to. Uh, it's dark here in Pennsylvania. Chilly out there. And we're winding down for the day. And this is something I wanted to do, which is get my paper scrapbook going and... Uh, Start taking the pictures from this month, not all of them, but just some highlights of the month, and use some paint and pretty papers to bring it all together, right? To be able to create something. Let's see, what else do I want to put in here? Oh, I do like this. So, you see what I'm saying? Like, even though this month was like really kind of like you know, vintage Halloween themed, if, you, if you're not somebody who wants to go Halloween, just turn it over and let's like they give you all kinds of pattern paper. Love, love, love. But yeah, use Junk Monkey 10 if you decide to do that subscription box that I'm doing. And uh, you will save 10%. But it's really cool. I love it. I'm very, very happy with it. And of course, I'm working on this tonight, putting the papers in my book. But you guys saw me, you know, use paint and papers to be able to do my table, my crafting table. So I just think there's such a, um, so many ways you can use the papers I got so many projects I'll share with you guys. So I'm just being this, putting this one over here a little bit more mellow yellow. There we go. What do you guys think of that so far? 
Easy peasy, right? But you can put whatever you want in the background. I'm gonna go ahead and dry that. We'll do those these two pages tonight. I figure every day if I start working through my photos that I was sharing with you guys, every day, every day, I will finally get through it, you know? All right, now I'm gonna grab my heat gun real fast and start drying this up right here real fast. I think I've got stickers in this month as well that I can use. Thickers, yes. Kate's laughing because they're actually called thickers. It sounds funny when you say it, but in this month's um, subscription, scrapbooky subscription, I got these thickers. They are like hard, hard plastic letters. So it's fun to do that with. I got all these over here, which is like all kinds of just ooh, letters. Oh, flags, those would be cool. I might have to put those on here shortly, you know. We'll see the pictures I pull out first and what I decide to do. So the Mod Podge dries clear, which is what I want. So I'm gonna put some paint on here as well, right? So this is just kind of like my background right now. You know what I'm saying? Thanks, Kimberly. I appreciate you, Sharon. Clipboard pieces are, chipboard pieces are the best. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right. So I'm going to kind of force dry this, but you could walk away, watch from Netflix, get your chips. You know what I'm saying? Do what you got to do. Come back to it. Whatever you want to do. What show is everybody watching? Oh. Okay. Can I tell you guys what show I've started to watch on Netflix? Um, what's it called? The Haunting of Hill House. Okay. I'm scared to death of scary movies. Was never allowed to watch them growing up. And uh, so now I watch them, and I kid you not, I screamed out loud multiple times last night where Matt's like, what are you doing? And I'm like, I can't help it. I can't help it. It's like scary, but yet still for all. I want to watch it. Because it's so spooky. It's so spooky. Look at all these really cool, cool, like, um, cutouts I could use. So these are, like, all, are all cut cutouts that you can use. Thanks, Katie. And then these are all like stickers and stuff that you can get as well, right? So I love, 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 love that. Especially this time of the year when we move inside and we're just ready to, um, you know, ready for something different. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to take out my paper plate and I'm going to grab some Junk Monkey. Fancy that, right? Add a little bit of my Junk Monkey. I'll tell you um, what's really nice about when you use our paint when you do scrapbooking is the fact that it is a it dries to a flat mat so it still keeps with the whole if you're like me you love shabby time worn but flat mat is very porous and so what happens is with our chalky style paint I mean think about it it's a chalkboard if you don't seal it right and so uh, when you use it with your scrapbooking it gives you paint it, it's paint that will like you can stick things on top of it and it's not gonna fall off as easy if it was if it was like a glossy style paint you can um, you know it's just easy for things to attach and adhere to it and you can also write on it and stuff with markers right but I'm going to take some white and try to mellow out this background this is a tool that's called a brayer and basically it's like a big old wheel on, I'm gonna put, put a little bit off of it because I go in for shabby backgrounds, right? So what I can do, like for example, this is a darker background so you're really gonna see it more over here. I can go all over it, it just will mellow it out. I want like, you know, I still want you to be able to see it, but at the same time, I want it to look a little more shabby and distressed, right? You know what I'm saying? So I'm kind of like doing a bit of a wash over what I've got going down right now. So I think that's the style background I'm going to go for tonight. Just a little bit more muted out because I want my pictures to pop and I don't want them to necessarily compete with, um, you know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and pull that out just a little bit. Yay. Yay, yay, yay. And if you want to get one of these tools, they're on Amazon. And uh, they are actually, I'll have Kate put up my link to my favorite tools. This is one of them, okay? So awesome. All I have to do, because their paint is water-based, is just go ahead and put that in the sink and it will just go ahead and completely wash right off, right? So yeah, just, you know, you can get them different sizes as well. I think that one I have is, looks like maybe like a three to four inch, I think it's a four inch one. All right, let's go ahead and dry that part up. 
Let's do it. Hey, Jeanette, what are you up to tonight, girl? Chili over in your parts? So I love it. Oh, yeah. Perfect. So, so nice. Just mutes it out, mellows it out. You know what I'm saying? Now I've got a gorgeous background. You could also do this with a brayer on top of your painted furniture. So like if I wanted to mute out my entire desk that I did with my layers and my scrapbook paper, go over it with a brayer of any color that you want, as much as you want, and then um, your paint's gonna stick to that and you can like wash it out, right? And that you can even distress that then now that you have some, pa some paint on top of your paper. I wouldn't necessarily distress my paper straight on, but I can distress some of these parts if I really wanted to and knock even a little bit more off of it, right? All right, so let's go ahead and grab, let's start putting out our good idea for our photos that we talked about. So I told you the whole premise of this book, right? Now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I love a little white border around my photos. Anybody else? I purposely said for 29 cents, give me the border around my or, I mean, it didn't really change the amount now that I think about it, but I was like, oh yeah. I, think it's so cute. I like the old style. I mean, I kid you not, I love, honestly, if I had a Polaroid camera, that would probably be the bee's knees for me. You know? Christmas gift. Yeah, right, Polaroid camera, hello. Mm -hmm. So, uh, let me see. So, I'm going to go ahead and just take out a few photos that are on my phone. It's funny, you guys, a lot of times you see me take photos, and they're the same photos that I post on my, um, my Facebook page. But, you know, I want to be able to, like, take those then photos and put them into a book. A keepsake book. A keepsake memory book. Oh, remember her? Who remembers her name? Let's see if anybody remembers her name. She's got a name. These were my paintings this month that um, traveled out of state. Some of you guys purchased, and I love those, those two handmade paintings there. All right, so I'm like kind of like, like liking where that is right there. What do you guys think? And then, of course, we could use, we could use, who out here is addicted as well to like washi tape, right? Crafting tape, whatever you want to call it. Basically, yes, it's candy. Absolutely, candy was on here on my page this week going, you love candy corn, right? That would be a silly question. Of course you like candy corn. So like, look at this here. This is so pretty. I really like this purple sparkly stuff. And so washi tape is like, you can um, put it down, take it off, it's removable, all that sort of stuff and have fun with it. So I think I'm gonna start with that. Let me see what else I got here. So we got this as well. These were those really cool, almost like flags, right? Could have picture some flags over here. What else did I get this month? These are fun. This could be a space to write in if I want to. Ooh, I love this right here. Anybody else love this too? That goes really pretty over there. So now I'll just kind of like pick out what, what makes you happy, you know? So you can glue these down if you want with like a glue stick. You can use tape, anything like that. I think I will just go ahead and Mod Podge those down and tape them down just to make sure they hold down well. And we'll go from there. Just something to stick them in, pay, in place. Woo! Now, Miss Candy, you better behave. Behave or behaved out, right? You always have such a great attitude. So positive and uplifting. I always Aww. feel great watching your lives. You are contagious, but in a good way. From Aww. Catherine. Well, that is so kind. Listen, you should be you, okay? I think that um, we think sometimes that if we're not you or we have to be like something else that people won't like us or um, they'll think we're weird or whatnot. I will tell you that after having um, my business this long and doing what I do, which honestly, guys, if I didn't go live, I'd just be doing this right now around my kitchen table, right? Like this is just what I love to do. It makes me happy. But the moment you start being you, what you realize is, is that there are a lot of other people out there just like you. But if you don't let your guard down, if you don't let your filter down and let people really just get a sense of who you are, you will never know. But there is, it's, I guess it's like anything, you know what I mean? It's like relationships with your spouse or your best friend. And if you don't let your wall down just a little bit and see people and get a real glimpse of who you are, because maybe you're worried about what people will say or if you'll get hurt, but you will never, you never know, right? 
and think about your the best relationships that you, you've had is because you've allowed people to see what you love to do, right? And you just put yourself out there. But I say that to say that you think you're the only one or you think you're weird or something like that. But what you really find out is that there are a lot of other people out there just like you and they get you. And that is what my business has definitely taught me is that just be you. You know, at the end of the day, you'll attract the right people and you will find other people who are just like you and get it. But you don't know unless you just be you, right? So let your weird light shine, girl. Let your weird light shine. I love those memes that I see. I'm, I'm one of those people who always share those, you know. I saw a meme the other day that said, uh, if you hang out with me long enough, uh, you know, you just might be brainwashed into thinking that you can do anything. <laughs> and I believe that. I believe you can do anything you want to put your mind to. It's whatever you focus on, right? It's whatever you focus on. And so tonight, if I didn't take the time to do this, my pictures, I would have went on and not really celebrated the month and a lot of like fun stuff that's happened and just life stuff that's happened. And so this is going to be a book that I dedicate to just stuff that I, that, you know, that I've done this month. So what do you think I should put over here? I've got Miss Candy Con over there and don't make me uh, flip my witch switch. We were just laughing about that because um, this... This sign has sold, but uh, Kate was telling me that there were some people in the shop and they were, they were thinking it was pretty funny. They like that saying, huh, Kate? Yes, they do. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Anybody out there? Can you drive a stick? This is the question. Can you drive a stick, though? I want to. I heard that it's a lot better to drive with a stick because then if people try robbing your car a lot of people don't know they can't to. get away with it yeah, yeah 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 i know how to drive um a stick when i first moved to the u.s um matt's stepdad actually taught me how to do that because he let me use his second vehicle and it was if i didn't know learn how to drive it i would have been stuck at home all the time so that was good motivation but yeah it was scary when i first started driving a stick because I was like oh my gosh come on light don't stop just let me go straight through you know what I'm saying yes oh this is cool down here I like that so we can these are just stuck on with Mod Podge I can go over Mod Podge on the top if I want to put a like a kind of like a layer over the top of them which I do like that as well and I may just well do but at first I want to go ahead and glue some of this stuff down so we put some sparkles on there this is cute too I like this so I will tell you that I'm somebody who likes to shop the end caps and stuff when I go to like Michaels and stuff because you see this you see this right here that right there right there that's the beacon in the night right there right yeah the beacon in the night that says Sonia come by me take me home for a dollar seventy nine, so I was all about that. Let me go ahead and tear some off. So washi tape is just like, and it comes in different brands and stuff, but it's removable. But it's really cool because, you know, you can use this to kind of like decorate your page, but also at the same time, it can be used to help just hold your components in, hold your components in, you know, and add some extra little zing to your page. All right, so on this little polka dot thing right here, honestly, I could put some some of our white paint on the top of it just to kind of like, I'm gonna stick my finger in a little bit of our vintage white. And then, hey, Joy! And I'm gonna like lighten up that spot because that way, again, whatever I put on the front is not going to compete with the background, right? So that's a way to cheat and do that. So that will dry really quick. It's pretty much dried now. And so this month into my scrapbooking kit, I got some fun stuff. Let's see here. It says stuff like, you know, gratitude, happy, blessed, all those sorts of things. Let me see here. Is there any fun ones that I like? Favorite time of the year. Oh, I like that one. I like that one. Favorite time of the year. That's cool. Let's put that one in there. Falling leaves. Definitely fall like. Let's peel that one off. Linda says she had a bug. Oh my gosh, that was the first she her first car. Cost. Of what? Of her car? She said it was 1800. Brand new. <laughs> wow. You'd be lucky if you could find that now, right? Mm -hmm. All right. 
Kate knows that. Kate just bought her own first car this year. See, you should be scrapbooking, you and your car. You know? 2018 is honestly the best look year of my life. It was a good year for you? Yay. Yes. Yep. Lots of freedom this year, huh? So I really like that. I can add some more stuff on there, think about it, but I'm going to start filling this page out as well. So uh, let's see here. What do we want to do with this? What are we going to do with this page over here, friends? What do you think I should do? Let's see what else is around here. I could... Let me see. Let's see here. Let me pick some stuff that I want to do. My scissors. Anybody see what happened to my scissors? Tell me where I put them. Anybody know? <laughs> What's that? It was even recorded. What was recorded? You had your scissors out, right? Do you can yeah. see them? I is it just me, or can you not see where my scissors went? <laughs> see, I love these torn edges. Ask the banana bunch. Help yeah, banana us. bunch. Where did my scissors go on this table? Anybody see them? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Lord, have mercy. All right, I kind of like that. Just like some layers. Be pretty. You can do some fun stuff, too. Like, you can, like, tear your photos. If you tear your photo towards yourself, then it'll give you this, like ripped edge, right? But if you tear it the other way, you're going to have a perfect edge. Sonia, what is the book you were using? Oh, see, I pulled it. See, I pulled it away from me. I meant to pull it towards me. The book that I am using? Oh, um, let me see here if I can find the the thing. This one is by I think it's by Delusions. I'll have to see if I can find it and put the link up for you Look guys. Looks by the Thickers. The Thickers? For the scissors. Is, is that, that you just saying that because you wanted to say the word Thickers? <laughs> Knowing you. Janice said look to our right, and the only thing I see to their right is the thickers. Okay. Kate's cracking up at the name of that. So I just figured she <laughs> she was just doing that so that she could say that word again. It's a fun one. It is a fun one to say, right? Thickers. All right. So I like that. <laughs> I like that. That's kind of cool right there. I'll do something with that after. But you can, like, put your pictures so that they feel, you know what I'm saying, that they're all sort of every which way every which way like that there and when in doubt you don't have scissors just rip it rip it good I like that I do like that I like that underneath there as well like you can like you know fill your page out like that you can like have it go the whole way around it that would be another great way to do it and I'll show you something else. Let that stand out a little bit more. We have time to move it. Actually, maybe I have an idea. We bring that down there. Like that. Let's see, since this, this over here has some pink on it, I think I'm going to put some pink tape on here. Yep, I just do uh, Mod Podge just a little bit on the bottom. And then, oh, I love the polka dots. Oh my gosh. Go with your gut. Always go with your gut. And it's your book, remember. So, totally up to you what you do. Oh yeah. But I could see some polka dots right here. Like maybe like on the top. Mm -hmm. Right there would be cute. So if I want, I could hide it below it if I want it to like come out the top of it. You know what I'm saying? To do a frame around it. I just do a little bit of Mod Podge or else, honestly, if I had it with me too, I could just use, just use a good old fashioned glue stick. You know what I'm talking about? One of those glue sticks. That is adorable. Doesn't have to be perfect. In fact, I love imperfectly perfect. Love imperfectly perfect. You know what I should do? I should totally like put this down here. Just to give it some interesting stuff right here. That's cute. 
cute. That's cute. What do you guys think? Yeah? Kind of like that. I think I'm going to do that on the other side as well. Let's see what we got over here. An orange. Oh my gosh, we got orange polka dots too. So we could totally do that. Yes, absolutely. Oh my gosh. Guys, thanks for sharing this video. Hopefully you feel inspired. This is why I love to turn my camera on when I when I do what I do. Paint and pretty papers tonight is what we're getting into. And um, you know, when you go to the clearance section, you see all those little pieces of like, you know, doodads, right? All these like, you know, this came this month in my scrapbooking subscription. Um, but all these little pieces, right, that you get, that you find, that's not one, but this sort of stuff. And you're like, what do I do with these? This is the kind of stuff that you do with this, right? Oh, look, E. There must be a whole word here with E. Oh, yeah. All right. So I like that. Now I feel like I gotta bring some more orange in here somewhere. What do you guys think? Maybe across the top. What do you think? Across the top, just like that. The cool thing about washi tape is you can pick it up and put it back down. Like that's what's that's what's awesomely fun about it. Is that you can put it down, pick it up, change your mind, do the hokey pokey, turn yourself around. That's what it's all about, right? Now the other color I have is a little bit of blue. So the moment I bring blue in, it's gonna pick up on my my shirt. It's gonna pick up on um, a little bit of the blue that's in here. So what do you guys think? Should I bring some of that in? Also, I could put you know what? Maybe I should bring some purple. I have some purple from over there. So maybe I'll just bring some purple on this page because it's a full layout, and I kind of want the pages, even though they're separate, to connect, right? So I'm just gonna put a little bit right here. This would be the perfect place to go ahead and put some letters. I think that's gonna be an awesome place for some letters. So this is where you, you know, pull in stuff that you have if you wanna do something that's more like, you know, Halloween-y style. I also have some awesome, these are fun as well. I'm definitely a positive kind of person. So, oh, I love this. When I see like dreams are for chasing, you are capable. Oh my gosh. Love, love, love that. You know what? Maybe I will use one of these on this side. So hopefully you guys are going to grow your stash of all the little doodads that you can get. Hey, Laura, how are you? So on this page here, you guys, I sold paintings this month. So you know what? When I do look at this picture, I think to myself, you know, you are capable of amazing things. You can... Um, can do whatever you put your mind to right you are you're capable of tackling any project you want to want to do learning to play the guitar whatever you want having your work go to anywhere that you um, can imagine you know and let's do something fun with these as well so I love these these are these are the thickers that came in my my thing See, under the thickers. what's that the did you see them again oh yes look at that <laughs> they showed up finally showed up to the party let's see here let me see here let's do something fun like you guys know what I always say let's see if you can guess what I always say and use your art supplies use what you got don't hold on to them then you end up throwing them out. You don't do anything with them. They get ruined. So you know what? When you get them, just put them to use and make pretty things. You'll appreciate yourself later when you do it. You can look back on your memory books. Power. What do you guys think I'm going to say here? See how well you really know me. We only hang out every week. Come on now. You guys know this. Learning to play the ukulele. Are you really, Lisa? Oh. That's cool. But I know. Yeah, right? Kate, do you play the ukulele? Yes, I do. You do? It's a very easy instrument to play. Yeah? It's, like, it's so nice to learn. Really? So that I definitely 100% recommend. Nice. And I would recommend watching the ukulele teacher on YouTube. Yeah. He teaches like things for free that. It's called the ukulele it, teacher. Yeah. So nice. important. Power of paint, baby. You got it, Christy. The power of paint. 
Love the power of paint. Brings people together. Relieves stress. There you go. I feel like I need something across the top right here. What do you guys think? Right there? Yeah? So I could do some of my dark edging if I want, or I could use tape for it. Maybe I should bring some of that purple up there. What do you guys think? Power of paint. And then what word do you think of when you think of over here? You look at anything else I have. Oh, look, I like that too. It's like a flower vase. Just like on, um, just like this one, right? Kind of cool. Where did Isn't you get that kind of cool? Thickers came this month in my um, my scrapbooking store. Yeah, for my scrapbooking store subscription. Use Junk Monkey. What's the code? Junk Monkey. Junk Monkey 10. Thank you. Junk Monkey 10. There you go. Woo. I'm trying to think what I should put over here. This, this is some projects I did this month. How about the word boo? How about that, huh? B. Eh. Let me see here. They give you tons, too, which is so awesome. Yes! Did somebody just say that? And I said, boo, like, man, we are on the same wavelength right there. And honestly, I find it a challenge to myself to be like, okay, let's see what we can fill this page up with. Because my job isn't done unless it's completely filled, you know? I'm going to add a little bit of this underneath here just for some interesting stuff right here. I think that would go really pretty with that color. What do you guys think? Just a little bit right there. What does that say? I just missed that. Something about using boo. Did you see that, Kate? Laura said you need a page that says, do you know what I mean? Use boo. Use boo. Let's see. These came in this month. Let me see if there's anything. Oh, I like that. I believe in magic. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Lisa said that she hopes she gets them and that she subscribed the other night. With them. Oh, yay. Yay, yay. I think they shipped them out within like... Um, three to five days so they're really really quick when they send them to you but also um every month you get different themes and so that's what's really cool about it right like you get different themes so you keep adding to your collection and every month it gives you something to do so i challenge you guys to get the phones and get your pictures off your phone so this for example this was the october kit that i got right here and um yeah they give you some ideas of how you can do yours i like to incorporate you know paint and stuff with mine i you know i want to do some pages especially for this month with like some drippy style backgrounds with the paint so i cannot positively wait on that all right what do you think anything else that i should put on here kate suggestions i don't know i love them both so much you like that cool. i can never create something like that yes you can you just keep adding your layers that's all Power paint. Power of paint, baby. The power of paint. So we got that one over there. Let's put him right here. He'll help hold on my photo as well. Maybe I'll put something in the corner of over there. These are cute. You see how they give you these little tiny, like, little tiny arrows? I think those would be cute to hold down. Help hold down my pictures. I see them better in the camera. Oh, Matt's on. Matt! What are you doing? <laughs> Matt's on here. Then I was showing him what we had for um, what we had for cocktails the other night. The pictures, so good. What was the name of that drink that you bought me? It had blueberry, not blueberry, raspberry. Look at that, cute, cute. I like that. So this side over here, I'm doing like less, less Halloweeny. But this happened in October, so I still want to, you know, make it work together. Oh my gosh, look at this, guys. Oh, is that not cute or what? Polka dot arrow, hello, sign me up, sign me up, sign me up right there. Let's put that right there. Little heart, put the other little heart. Love that. Love, love, love that. Anything else on here I want to pull off? I think that might be it. These are great little scraps as well that you can stick on. Like I always keep these little ends and stuff. Ooh, I like that. Kind of like that too. Let me stick that on over there. Uh, do I want to go there? Where do I want to go? Maybe I want to go right here, just for fun. Just for fun. So you can use your, again, your Mod Podge as your glue. Just add a little bit, because this, this is over here, I want to kind of pull it over here just a little bit, right? Matt, you just joined us. We're telling all your secrets, man. 
Everyone's saying hi now. Let's make him sweat. Too funny. Too funny. But yeah, I was telling everybody that we were out for drinks on Saturday, right? Saturday was the 27th. Yes. Yep. Oh, I love that. So again, I can use my Mod Podge if I want to like put a seal on anything that's paper oriented. Just to make sure it stays down. I'm not going over my photos. Just over anything that's like papery. And I like the feel of my agent my like scrapbook when it's nice and thick and I feel like it has a nice really cool layers on it. Oh, I love 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 that. All right, let's see if there's anything else I want to put on here. So that's that color over there. Now I'm wondering what was on here that's like the shape of bones. What was that? H E There's another E Candy corn. Oh yeah, we gotta put some candy corn on here. Excuse me while I put some candy corn on here. Somebody wrote me and they said, so they tried it this weekend where you do the candy corn and the, um, what's it called? Peanuts. And it tastes like the payday bar. And they said it really did. Look at that. Oh, I like that. Now I'm really, really liking that. Yes, 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 yes. So much fun. So much fun. That's stuck down too well. I was going to say I could slide that underneath it. But that's the other cool thing is when you build your um, build your layers up, you can also like put, you can also create little, like if you have things, like say for example, there was something like a ticket or something, you can create little pockets where you can keep your tickets and things like that in there. You know what I mean? Do what you, do what you want to do. So I'm pretty happy with that right there. I think I'm going to call that one done. What do you guys think? Give me some hearts if uh, you agree with me. If it's just kind of looking kind of cute where it is. I'll leave it at that. What do you think? And I think that uh, we should just pick a random winner. What do you think, Kate? You want to do it? I'm ready. You ready? All right. I'm going to add a little bit more black in here. Just because I can. And I like my layers. I like my layers. All right. You want to write a name for me? That would be awesome. I got ya. Let's see here. So I've got lots of pictures that you probably saw at the beginning that I have to go ahead and I have to do my, my process with. So, lots of fun stuff to do. Boy, now the glue on my fingers doesn't want to pull that apart. Let's try it. Thank you very much. Oh, I know who the winner is. All right, so what happens if your name is called? Dang it, are my fingers like totally stuck to this or what? Come on, work with me here, tape, washi tape. Charlotte, Charlotte, you are the owner of this beauty over here, aren't you? With all the beautiful pinks that I paint and she's on here tonight, but apparently Charlotte has more than that. She tells us she has a good recipe. Dang. So I do, um, I think we should be friends with Charlotte. What do you think? All right. There we go. I like that. I'm going to put one more on the other corner just because I can. Just because I can. All right. All right. And I'm happy with that. I'm going to let that dry. It's going to be awesome. And I'll work through this book that I have. I have lots of photos here. So, guys, join me again on another night. I'll pop on. Oh, we got so many to do. Those were those awesome cocktails we had. Babe, what was this one called right here, right? So, yeah, look. There's Kate right there doing lots of shipping, all that good stuff. Hashtag selfie, hashtag yeah, right? Who remember seeing this one? This was uh, Fort Ligonier days when we had Krampus come. Who saw the project that we did when we switched this brownie frowny door to beautiful vintage white? Oh, my gosh. This was pecan butter over... Um, over what do you call that pecan butter over um, cornbread and this right here if Tracy Lark's on here she's gonna know what this is about because um, I was addicted to the Hilton cookies and she hooked me up when I was at the Hilton and gave me a whole bag that she somehow she managed to get from the front desk 
which is so cute. This was my uh, bathroom selfie. Did you guys see when I posted that one? I did really well, right? Like this was winning. I got the toilet in the back and the shower curtain. I'm pretty sure that's a win right there, a selfie win. So anyway, I'm gonna put some fun pictures in here, but first, before I go, I wanna tell you who is the winner tonight, and it is Donna. Donna, right here. I'm pretty sure there's a song about your name. Donna, is it Vanna Coral? Hopefully I didn't just butcher that last name, but Donna, <laughs> if this is you, Right here, girl, what you need to do is message me at junkmonkeypaint at gmail.com before midnight tonight. Put winner, winner in the subject line, and then I'm able to respond back to you and give you a code. Yay, she's here. Good girl. So you can go on to junkmonkeypaint.com and, um, you know, grab something that you want to try over there. Oh, I'm liking this little star right here. I've now decided that this little star should go right here, just like that. We're going to do that, right? Power of paint. All right, love it. Tonight was the power of paint and pretty paper, so join me again another night. Tomorrow I have a nightstand that I'm gonna be refinishing. So tomorrow we're gonna switch up to a piece of furniture to paint. And what's really cool with our paint is you can use, you can match your decor and your furniture together. So our paint is so versatile. So thank you, Donna. Thank you, Donna. I'm gonna make you part of my scrapbook right here, all right, for uh, hanging out with us tonight. And so let me think here. So if you wanna do the scrapbooking club, um, just go to the link up above the video and then put in Junk Monkey Tan to save 10% off of it to get your kit. I'm pretty sure you'll probably be on, on December's or November's kit. Um, the brayer that I use and all my list of my favorite tools. This is what I use to put on my Junk Monkey paint tonight. Um, that is listed in the link as well under Sonia's favorite tools. My heat gun, all that good stuff, all right? So thanks guys for hanging out with me. We are going to get into some more journaling as life goes on and, uh, you know, maybe I'll take you on a tour through this scrapbook as well that I've been working on recently. So thank you guys for joining me. I will see you guys again tomorrow. We're going to do our furniture painting. And this week as well, I'm thinking maybe uh, Wednesday night, I'm going to teach you guys how to do the whitewash on brick that you guys have been asking me about. So remember the whitewash on brick? When I went out to um, the crafters convention, this is actually something that's going to go into... This is me right here, painting that brick. Do you see it? So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that as well. So lots of fun stuff coming up this week. Thank you guys for hanging out. Have a great night. Bye.